Bienvenue sur Biz Connect, un show sponsorisé par la plateforme BridgeAfrica.com qui permet aux entrepreneurs de facilement créer des sites web, de communiquer et d'élargir les marchés. Dans chaque épisode, nous mettrons en lumière des histoires uniques et inspirantes des entrepreneurs qui sont connectés via notre plateforme bridgeafrica.com. Dans l'émission d'aujourd'hui, nous mettrons en évidence Mélanie Com, styliste et modéliste. Mélanie Com possède une structure Emma Fashion à Douala qui est spécialisée dans la confection et vente des tenues de soirée pour femmes. Douala, the economic capital of Cameroon, is a crossroads of several trades, such as tailoring, embroidery, dyeing, weaving, among others. Today, we are going to meet Melanie, a young fashion designer with a particular fashion for classic evening clothing. Good morning, I'm called Emma Fashion. I'm a fashion designer. I got to this point, I first of all started little. Her talent was detected very early by a member of her family who knew how to guide her in the field of tailoring. When I completed class 7, I have nobody to sponsor me. So it's my uncle wife that saw in me that I can really do this tailoring because When I was a kid, I always liked to play with scissors, tape, cutting dresses. So when I completed class 7, she really saw in me that since there was no money to pay my school fees, since my mother and my father died, there was nobody to take care of me. So this my uncle wife took me and said, let me go to a tailoring workshop where I started. So from there, I spent two years. I spent two years there and then I came out And my elder sister took me to Douala where I was there with her and I opened a small tailoring workshop. Then from there I was not satisfied with my condition. Then a friend of mine came and told me about a place called Winnie Fashion that I should go there. There I have a trainer of two years in, in fashion and designing where I graduated there with my certificate of fashion and designing. I do design wedding gown, party wears, assorted dresses, office wear, any dress of your choice, traditional wears. I do them, men's dresses, I also do them. The internet has transformed the global business landscape. Today, companies can do business with anyone, anytime, anywhere. Melanie Com is one of those entrepreneurs who has understood that having a website is a fundamental tool for corporate growth. Do not hesitate to contact her business, Emma Fashion, on bridgeafrica.com. In her workshop, we can find evening dresses that are so particular from each other. She enjoys varying designs, colors and fabrics to satisfy her customers. Melanie is overflowing with talent and ideas, but the lack of equipment and funding prevents her from fully expressing her art. The problem now with me is that I'm limited. There's no money for me to go further. I would have loved to go further international because when I sleep, I saw myself in a dream sewing dresses. The little problem now I have is if I can have somebody that can sponsor me to go further, to go international, then I will be happy. The 
people need to be informed and people also need to go out there and seek for information the government for example for cross people as i said earlier there is registration free of charge from registration we sensitize them to uh, go to social insurance fund to pay their voluntary insurance uh, uh, scheme so that that can ensure their future or their in any inability or and then we and, uh, we encourage them to pay their taxes and when they do this the government has put in place uh, in all 10 regions handicraft villages and uh, there are other two special handicraft uh, villages in Fumban and Bamayo that is 12 that is those are the uh, institutional build-up that the government has put to get closer to the craftspeople so that they will go there they do they have training at this center they have commercial activities they have promotional activities the government encourages them when you go out to other countries for trade fairs or even at the national level you meet other people other people you gain experience you even meet buyers who want to who are interested in your product and they will want to buy in greater quantity to take to other countries the government also trains them to develop their capacity so that they can produce better uh, quality products because people always think that they will sit wait for government to give them money to do something you know start the government accompanies and uh, actually the government accompanies the problem maybe is information they should go to the nearby structures responsible for any particular activity they want to get involved in and uh, find out because the ministry too helps people to 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 draw up their business plans when they come with their project ideas to cut somebody's dress i don't just cut directly on the material first of all you this pepper first of all use this pepper to dress the person's uh, dress on it before place it now on a material so i don't just take material like this and start cutting without tracing it on a pattern we call this pattern so when i finish to cut here then i'll place it now on the material before now i cut after I finish to cut the dress, put it now on a zigzag machine. This one we call zigzag machine. Zigzag the dress. Yeah. So now the dress. This sewing machine. It is here now that we sew the dress and do the definition. After zigzagging the dress, Put it now on the sewing machine. So, you can see me sewing the dress. So that's how it works. So this is a final finish. We call this finishing touch. Iron the dress. Iron the dress. Ema Fashion is based in the Mabanda district in Douala and accessible on the BridgeAfrica.com platform. Melanie Com a su se tailler une voie unique de suivi à travers son art et vous pouvez maintenant la suivre. Elle et son entreprise Ema Fashion sur BridgeAfrica.com. La connectivité est la productivité.